Today FM. Anton Savage Show. PPI Magazine Programme of the Year. Now, we need some updates. What's the story with the helicopter in the hay shed in Mullingar? You wouldn't believe what happened to the helicopter. Oh, no. He took it out to power wash it, right? And it's in, <laughs> it's in the bathroom, right? And he pulled her out of the shed to give her a bit of a wash down because she she's about two years inside. And he, this is, he washed her down power horses and all, but there's, uh-huh. there's cattle and pigs and things there around the yard. So I don't know what happened. Did one of them go up scratching up against it or whatever they did? But it turned over anyway that they're eating it. <laughs> Oh, there's a bit, there's a bit of a damage, but but uh, Jim, Jim says he'd fix it up for me, like you know. But just like there's pigs and horses and everything, get the farm, like you know. The hitch, I told you, it was an issue, didn't I? A cow tipped over your helicopter, David. Well, we don't know. Was it the pig? Or was it the thing? There was a big, ugly-looking sows there that might have went up and you know they'd be scratching themselves and stuff like that, you know. But look, uh, look, should be. He said he'd fix it up for me anyway. Do you know? He'd okay, it so the hel- it's still going to happen. He'll get it back on its feet or oh, wheels. The helicopter patches. is mine. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, I didn't know you. Do- the deal is done. Oh, the deal is done. Yeah, the helicopter will be here in Corky Knights, Glanton Village. Be is that it now done? Is there anything else on the list? Do you remember Mash? Oh, I do. Of course, I do. Yeah, yeah. The American, the American uh, program that was out. Yeah, after Don Mid- Sutherland film. That's right. Yeah, yeah. five good actors in it there. Well, I want to create. I've decided to come up with a, an idea to create a mash scene inside <laughs> and beside. Right. <laughs> Now, I'm going to acquire a couple of three or four military vehicles, right? And I'm going to place them out on front and put about ten tents in at the back, you know. But we put a theme to it, you know, and we're going to call it the MASH. So I went after the MASH ambulance, you know. But this is, I guess, it's until last week. So you I just a bought MASH. a military hospital ambulance. No, I have the MASH ambulance. Do you know the MASH program that was on? You don't mean the actual ambulance from MASH? Yes, there was one of them that was on it, yeah. You're lying. What? <laughs> the actual ambulance that was on the show, Mash. It was one of them, yeah. It was one of them that was on, used on it. Where'd you and find I that? Got, can't tell you that yet, no. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you again down the road. But the main thing here is to have it, right? And I'm after, I'm after getting an armoured personnel carrier to carry eight people, right? <laughs> Listen to this now. So I was over in Boston there last week and I told them I was going to take the mash scene out in thing. And Jesus, they got all raved up about it and they were having great... And they said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to put about tin tints in at the back of the military vehicles and I'll throw a couple of pallets on the floor and throw a few masters on them. They'll be fine, they'll be grand. But we'll create that mash scene and be just the next thing. Do you know what happened last week? The fellow rang me up and he said, do you want to take a, a fox? Cannon gun. I said, what? He said, the, <laughs> so because we went up the other day to him and we looked at it and I drive it round his arm yet. He said, what? He has an armor car. I said, Jesus, I, I, I got into it anyway. He started teaching me how to drive it. I said, this, I said, we get, won't get anyone to sleep in this bus. Do you know what? It'll be great crack driving around the side. There's cannon gun in all of us. But you have to have two fellas that driving it. One fellow has to be above on top and the other fellow has to be underneath. <laughs> But be Jesus, you know, I said to him, can I bring this out on the road? He said, you can, yeah, no bother. It's clear. So it's just like a tractor, he says. So be Jesus, anyway, wouldn't that be great crack up and down the road? And, you know, driving around the side. So people would give a load of money to learn. Now, couldn't they couldn't ever get to drive a tank, like an armored tank. <laughs> <laughs> can, imagine me drive, can you imagine me driving down the road and pointing the can and going into the shop and say, hey, you have 20 minutes to evacuate the building. <laughs> but seriously, uh, Anton, I could leave the site and drive up the town for a pint of milk and go back down the town again. When you but do you, it, I want to be there, David. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. But that's an armoured personnel carrier. That takes six soldiers, so... I'd get a double bed into that, no problem, as well. <laughs> and sure, so wouldn't it be great crack? You could drive them up the town and drop them off at a restaurant and come out again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know. David. <laughs> <laughs> the usual requests that we have to have you on for five minutes every day. Um, when is the submarine coming? Don't make any suggestions to him. The man has just bought an ambulance and an armoured personnel carrier. He's a tonic for a Monday. You couldn't make it up. David is a classic... David, I'm delighted that The Late Late uh, has uh, had you on and I hope to have you on about again because I'm sure the publicity, not that at this stage you need it, would be mighty for uh, quirking clamping. The Anton Savage Show on Today FM with Skoda Scrappage. Transform your old car. Skoda.ie